I'm taking my mom's holiday cracker pie recipe and kicking it up a notch because today I'm making Christmas whiskey chocolate pie. If you've seen any of the other videos I did which featured my mother's cracker pie recipe, you'll remember that this is easy, but there's a few different ingredients we're adding to this one. So let's get started. We're gonna start with one cup of crushed crackers. These are just saltine crackers that have been crushed in a Ziploc bag with a rolling pin. To this, we're adding a cup of sugar. As you can tell already, this is a diet dish. Now we're adding half a cup of pecans, half a cup of dried cranberries, I'm using craisins, half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips, these are the little mini ones, half a cup of white chocolate chips, remember it's a diet dish, a teaspoon of baking powder. Now I'm adding two eggs that have been beaten. We may need to add a third one, but we'll see. Now we're adding a teaspoon of vanilla, and a teaspoon of whiskey. I'm using Jack Daniels. Now we mix it up. That's it, it's mixed up. It's ready to go into the pie tin. And I'm gonna be using a standard metal pie tin that's been greased with some butter. So we are just going to dump our contents into our pie tin. We're just going to kind of spread this around to fill this evenly. Kind of looks like a trail mix pie, doesn't it? All right, that's it. It's ready. And now we're going to get it into a preheated 325 degree oven where it's going to bake for about half an hour. All right, let's get it in our oven. That's going to go for half an hour. All right, we're not just sitting back and waiting for that pie to get done. We're gonna make some whiskey whipped cream to go with it. So we're starting with two tablespoons of powdered sugar. We're adding eight ounces of heavy whipping cream. We're also adding a teaspoon of Jack Daniels whiskey. Pick your favorite whiskey. And now we're either gonna make whipped cream or a huge mess. My wife is stepping in to make sure it turns into actual whipped cream and doesn't just get all over me. Through the magic of editing, you can see that the whipped cream is completed. Now I did about, let me do the math, about 3% of this, my wife did about 97% of this. But I'm gonna go ahead and taste it and take credit for it, so just a minute, let's see how it tastes. Cool, nice little whiskey taste there. Ooh, it actually pairs really well with this. So right now we're gonna put this in the refrigerator. It's gonna chill and we're gonna wait for our pie to get done. And then when that's done, it has to sit for a while and cool down. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, that is half an hour. Let's take a look and see. Oh, that looks good. The real way to tell on this if it's done is by the color. This is a perfect golden brown. It's not mushy, it looks great. We're gonna get this out of here and we're gonna let this cool for at least 45 minutes before we cut into it and top it with some of that whiskey whipped cream. All right, here is our Christmas whiskey chocolate pie, which uses my mom's cracker pie recipe for its base. It looks really good I and mean, there's lots of chocolate in there. But let's cut a piece now and top it with that whipped cream. All right, let's go here. Let's see if we can get a whole piece out of here. Let's see. Let's see. That was an early taste. Mm. Now this is sometimes a crumbly pie and you can see it's a little crumbly here. I don't know, might just be all the chocolate we added, but it's still gonna taste great. You already have chocolate in it, but let's put a little chocolate on top of it too. because the whipped cream needs something to keep it company. Oh, look at that. And just a little pinch of cinnamon on top. There it is, Christmas whiskey chocolate pie. It's time to taste. All right, I already know it's gonna taste good, but it's that whiskey in here that I wanna get a little bit of hit of first. So let's see. 
it's there. <laughs> wow, that is nice. Oh, that's good. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> And did I mention there's chocolate in this? Not only the chocolate on it, but the chocolate in it. I mean, there's white chocolate chips and chocolate chips in here. Mmm. Wow, that was really good. You also have that nice little dash of sweetness and the tartness from those dried cranberries. I gotta tell you, everything in this works. The chocolate, the crackers, which you wouldn't think of unless you'd had a cracker pie before. The whiskey, the whipped cream on top, that little dash of cinnamon at the end there. Everything goes perfect with this. It tastes like a bite of Christmas. Mm. And as you saw, super simple recipe. Dump everything in a bowl, mix it up, bake it for half an hour at 325. You got an amazing dessert. Mm. So if you're looking for a dessert that you can make at Christmas, take to a party, anything like that, or even get some in your mustache, this Christmas whiskey chocolate pie is really what you should try.